Hey everybody, it's Judy Clock here at Stampin' with Crafty Clock coming to you today for another live demo. I hope you're having a great day. It was a great day here in Virginia. It was like almost 80 degrees. The sun was shining. It was just heavenly, but I'm sure winter will come back with the vengeance before spring truly is here. So it's uh, February 23rd. You have about five more days for celebration and to take advantage of our great join offer. Right now, you can join Stampin' Up! and you can select $175 worth of product for either $129 and you'll also get your choice of the mini Stampin' Cut and Boss Machine in white or the new Boho Blue. Or you can pay just $99 and get the $175 worth of product. And you can always choose what products you want in your starter kit. So it's completely customizable. And, you know, it's a great deal. And we have just a great community of stampers here. They really support each other and look out for one another and share ideas. So if you're thinking about it, this is a great time to go ahead and do it. All right. So let's go. We're going to work on the Easter Bunny stamp set. So I will get started. We're going to do, as always, a simple stamping card and something that is a little more stepped up. So let me show you what we're going to do. We're going to do one of my favorite types of cards, and that is a wobble card. And these are just these little plastic wobble mechanisms. You can get these on Amazon. And I will post a link below in the description to my affiliate um, site just as a reminder and Legally, I'm required to let you know that if you do purchase these from my affiliate link, I might be given a small compensation. So thank you for that. You know, like those every three cents counts. <laughs> so anyway, but these are fun. They come in two sizes. This is the very small size, which I think is perfect for the little bunny. And then we have a bigger size that I've used on bigger projects. But I just I love these. They're just such a fun way to make a card with a little bit of movement. And then look at the bunny hop. He's really hopping there. So that's our simple stamping card. And then we're going to do a little bit more of a stepped up version. And we're going to introduce, along with our bunny punch, the decorative border stamp set. And we're going to create a border. And I, after I made this one, I didn't really like this one. So we're going to change it up for the one we're going to do tonight. But we're going to do some embossing. We've got, this is that new cane weave embossing folder. We've got a die cut with our stylish shapes dies. And then we're just going to do some more. We're going to do some hinge stamping with our stamp radis because I wanted that to come out straight. I, got a, I tried to do it freehand. And it came out a little crooked, so we're going to use our stamp radis to get that to be perfectly stable with that hinge um, stamping. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to pull in my stamp and pierce mat because I am working with photopolymer stamps, and we're going to start. Let's start with doing our inside because our inside is pretty simple. We're going to add just a strip of this. I always have extra scraps of designer series paper laying around. So this is a really great way of getting rid of some of these really thin scraps that you may have. I'm just going to add a little bit of our liquid glue to this. And we are just going to go and we're going to decorate the inside of our card, that piece of basic white. We're just going to put this thin strip. This is about one quarter of an inch by five and a quarter inches. And we're just going to go ahead and put that just right along here on the inside. Okay, just got to trim this off just a tad. It's a little tiny bit longer than my piece of basic white. I'm just going to take my snips and snip that right off. All right, and then we are ready to go ahead and add this to the inside of our card. So that's just, to me, a fun way of dressing up the inside of our card and using some of our scraps at the same time, because I know if you're like me, you've always got a ton of scraps laying around. So this to me was just a great way to use it and pretty up the inside of our card. So doesn't that look pretty? Okay. So now we're going to go and we're just going to stamp. I'm going to use pretty much everything in just the two colors of the balmy blue or the crumb cake. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to stamp our bunny stamp on a piece of crumb cake. I've just got a scrap of crumb cake here. I'm going to stamp our bunny stamp on there. And then we're going to punch him out. 
Okay, and I always save my scraps because I never know when I might use them. And then I'm going to still, while I have my crumb cake out, I'm going to stamp a Happy Easter on this little piece. Again, it's another piece of scrap basic white that I had laying around, but it's just the perfect size for this Happy Easter sentiment. All right, great, that's perfect. And then we're done with our crumb cake. Now, two more things I'm going to do before we go on and stamp our card base. This one I wanted to flag the end. I'm just going to cut it on an angle. Okay, again, just to give it a little bit of visual interest. And then we're going to punch out our bunny. Okay. Just make sure it lines, lines up pretty good. And once you've got it lined up where you think you want it, just... I feel like I can't really do it left-handed. I feel like I have to do it right-handed. Isn't that bizarre how we just get so used to doing something one way? All right, I'm going to punch it out. Now, I'm going to do one more thing to him. And I'm going to color. And you can see and there's a little bit of the ear there. And I'm going to color this in with our dark petal pink stamp and blends. Now, when you first put it on, it's it doesn't really look like much of anything. It just looks like wet crumb cake cardstock, but when it dries, and I think you can see it better on this one, when it dries, you can actually see there is just a little tiny bit of pink in there. Maybe you can't see it on this video, but it, trust me, when it dries, it'll be just the slightest little bit of pink. All right, so we're just going to put those aside for right now. Now we're going to take our, excuse me, our piece of, um, this is balmy blue, and I'm going to use, there's a triple egg stamp that triple easter egg stamp we're going to use that and we are going to just stamp in a random pattern on the front here um this egg these eggs and i'm just going to put a piece of um, scrap paper underneath because some of them may actually end up being off the cardstock and i don't want to get them on my stamp and pierce mat so just going to go just any way you want. There's no right way to do this. Just stick them on there, get them down. Um, maybe we'll turn some like this. Now, remember, some of them will be covered up um, in the middle. Let's go here. So it doesn't take very much. This is just fun. I love doing tone on tone. I think it's a fun look. Um, and I just, it's an easy thing. If you're a beginner stamper and you don't have a lot of supplies, you can really get a very pretty effect from just doing tone on tone stamping. So again, if you want to keep it simple, this is a great way to really keep it simple, get a pretty card and just have fun with it. All right. Maybe just one more down there. Okay. That's done. So now we're going to add a piece of our designer series paper. This is two by four and a quarter. So it's going to go across the whole length, the whole width of our card, not the length. It's going across the width. It's been a long day. I don't know why, but whenever we have like a short work week, like a four day work week, it just seems incredibly long to me. Anybody else feel that? Okay, so now we've got that on there. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to add our sentiment with some Stampin' Dimensionals. I'm just going to put like two on there. Maybe I'll put three. It's a little bit long. Okay, let me get rid of that. We don't need our Stampin' Pierce mat anymore right now. Let's get that out of our way. Ugh. Okay. Boy, oh boy. All right, let's add our happy Easter. And now we've got our little bunny. We want to put him on the wobble. So the wobble has, this is like a harder plastic piece. That's the piece that's going to go down on the card base. And this is like a big, um, like flexible plastic piece. That's going to go on the back of our bunny. So I'm just going to peel off the protective covering on the adhesive. And then I'm just going to stick our bunny on this okay and then now we're going to take off the adhesive on the back here i might use my pick tool because it's kind of little okay there we go all right 
So now let's go ahead and put him right on the front and just stick him down. And now he will wobble and wiggle with your card. And then we can go ahead and add some basic rhinestones and just give him a little bit of sparkle. But I think this is just such a fun card. I think kids for sure would love this card with the little bunny who's hopping on, on the card and just having a fun time. Let's go ahead and just add some of these gems. All right, and we'll just put that one up there. And that is our first card. That's our simple stamping card. So again, it's pretty basic. We only did really a, just like a little bit of a layer with that designer series paper. We had a little bit of an element here where we popped that up. And of course, we've got our wobble, but a great easy card for a beginner stamper to do with limited supplies. All right, now let's get fancy. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do on here, I want to create that hinge stamp, that image on the top of my inside piece. So I can't even lift up my stamp apparatus. All right. So I'm going to put it down here and I'm going to, oops, that's my other plate. Let me lift that up. All right. So let's put that there. Okay. And I'm going to put these because I want to stamp near the top. I'm going to kind of put these towards the middle of my um, piece of basic white. Just having a hard time forming those words today. Hey, Deb, how are you doing today? Thank you so much. Let me know where everybody's watching from. I love to know where you're watching from. If you're watching on a replay, let me know that you're watching on a replay. All right, so I'm going to position this where I think I want it. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and going to pick up my stamp. And I'm going to, I'm just going to take it off the hinge for a minute. I want to ink it up, and I'm going to be using my petal pink for this. So we're going to use petal pink and mint macron for, for, these, for this uh, card. All right, and now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to stamp that down. Okay, and I do have my little, my little hockey puck presser. I don't know what you would call this, but it works great. And then I'm going to go, I'm going to pull it out again. I'm going to ink it up again. Okay, and now I'm going to move it up one hinge. Nope, maybe two hinges. Okay, I moved it up two. Mm, two hinges is just... Well, we're going to have a little bit of space, but that's okay. So I moved it up two hinges and I'm pressing this down again. And now I've got that great border and it's even across my paper because I didn't try to do it manually. So when you want to have a border and the border doesn't, is not the width of the whole paper, use your stamparatus and do some hinge stamping to get that straight line. All right, finishing up on the inside, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add again. I have another little tiny piece of this DSP. I'm just going to go add that to the bottom. And this one is going to go across the width. Our other piece was longer. So we put it across the, the we put it down the length. And this one we're going to put across the width. But again, great use of your scraps. They're not going to be going into your trash bin. They're just going to be going and decorating the bottom of your card. All right, now I want to go ahead and add some, leave that open for a minute. We're going to go ahead and add this little sentiment in here. And this just says, enjoy all the little moments. Okay. All right, we've got that done. We're going to put this off to the side for a bit because we're going to go work on the front of our card. Now, I'm going to do one more stamping. Now I have here this leaf image from our decorative borders stamp set. And I'm going to stamp this again in our petal pink. All right, because again, I like doing tone on tone. So I'm gonna stamp that. Now again, this is not going to go all the way to the top like I want it to, but no worries because we're gonna cover up the middle of this so I don't mind if I kind of overstamp a little bit 
because that will be covered up, okay, by that white square. So we have a white square here that's going to go right over, I can't even pick it up, right over that part so you won't know. So it'll just look like a continuous line of leaves because we're covering up that portion. All right, so that's our stamping. So then I've got a piece of our mint macron that is two and a half by five. And we're just going to kind of put it just sort of next to our stamped image. So it's not going to go, um, you know, all the way to the one end or all the way to the top or bottom. And because this is embossed, you really need to use liquid glue to adhere this to our... Um, my computer just told me that there's a restart that we need to do right now. I'm hoping it will let me finish this. Thank you, Norton. Okay, so I'm just going to straighten this out. And again, liquid glue will give me that little bit of time to straighten that out. All right, so we've got that there. Now we've got a piece of our Country Gingham DSP. We're using our Country Gingham DSP. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to lay that down over our stamp piece. This piece is two by four and a half. Okay, so each one is a half an inch shorter and um, narrower than the piece it's going on top of. Okay, I'm having a rough, this, I'm telling you, this is a rough day today. All right, we're going to put that there. Now we're going to come in here. Before we do that, I have a piece of our frayed white ribbon not my favorite ribbon. All of you who know me know I like a nice ribbon. This one is really only good for laying down on a flat surface. So we're going to add some adhesive to the back of our square. And we're just going to put the ribbon there to kind of let it peek out uh, from behind there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some Stampin' Dimensionals um, to the back of this. And these on okay now I'm like trying to rush because I don't want Norton to like just restart all of a sudden and just lose my whole thing so I'm sorry if I feel like I'm rushing all right so we're going to put that right there and you see how that covers up where those two stamps overlapped and then we're going to take another piece of our country gingham DSP and we're going to punch out a bunny now Depending upon what side you want to use and how you want your bunny to look is how you position. So I want to use the green side, but I want my bunny to be looking to the left. So I know that I have to punch it on the pink side because on the pink side, he's looking, he's facing the right. So when I flip it over to the green side, he'll be facing the left. I know it's crazy. All right. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put him on with some just some stamp and seal you can use liquid glue but we're not going to pop him up on dimensionals all right so he's going to sit there i am going to add a few more of our rhinestones i'm going to add a little tiny rhinestone to his head for an eye okay so we're just going to add one kind of right there see it looks better i think when he has like an eye on him and then we're just going to go ahead and add just a few more wherever you want. Again, it's just random. Okay. And then I thought he needed some kind of bow to tie him all together. So I have our silver twine. Now, if it comes off and it's still kind of um, curly, if you just run it through your thumb and your forefinger, that will help straighten it out and make it easier to work with. It won't curl up on you. So I'm just going to tie a quick little bow. It's always, it's, whenever I do these live, it just is, never comes out kind of the way I want it. But I don't want to have very big loops, so I, I just kind of want to have these be nice and tight. Okay, there we go. It's getting there. All right, I don't want really big loops because he's not that big of a bunny. Okay, so then we're just going to go ahead. We're going to trim these down. Then we're going to take a glue dot. Well, gotta love these glue dots for putting on the twine and stuff. I'm just gonna kind of put the glue dot where I think I want the bow, and I'm gonna lay the bow on top of the glue dot. 
All right, and there is our stepped up card. So again, we've done some on the inside. We did a little, uh, might help if we actually put the inside in. We did some hinge stamping with our stamp apparatus to get that border across the top. I did an embossing folder, the cane weave embossing folder. I did a die cut with the stylish shapes. Um, and that's, that's our stepped up card. So those are our two cards for tonight. I hope you like them. I, the wobble cards are always my favorite. And I hope you can see now how his ear, it dried. And it does show a little bit of pink. I don't know if I can put that up closer. And you can see, can you see the pink in the ear? I hope you can see that. All right. So those are our two cards for this evening. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're watching on replay, please let me know where you're tuning in from. I love to see where my audience is coming from. And I really appreciate all your support. I have grown my YouTube channel by about 90% in the last year. And I am so appreciative for all of you and all of your support. Thank you so much. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll be back next week with another project. Bye.